I'm Coach CZ. I'm just a kid from New York with a big dream of being a backup dancer for Chris Brown. I work at the Prestige Shop where the homies always come through to kick it and talk about their style on and off the job. Crazy things always happen with my wild imagination, but hey, I'm just kicking it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What you mean what I'm doing? You're dancing. You're dancing in my store, man, and you're late. Late. Yo, Slate's chill, man. It's my first day. Check me out, though. I'll catch it, though. What? Wow! I gotta be a backup dancer for Chris Brown soon. Look, B, you got two left feet. I'm gonna need less wiggling around here and more hustling. Do the hustle. Do the hustle. Get to work. But you get it, though. Slays, you get it. Slays, I know you get it. Get to work. Get it. Kick in it. You know what I came to do. You, you know what. What are you doing? What are you doing? You feeling that? You feeling that, right? When I leaked on them, I had to leave. Oh, that. snap, yo. You no, see who just came in the building? Number 30, Stephen Curry, Golden State, State, baby. Woo, Splash was a gold medal winner. Chill, man, chill. That's just oh. stuff. And I got this, man. Yo, can I get a 13? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Nah, you got to wait. What up, Steph? You what up, dog? Chilling, man. You all right? I'm good, man. Where are you ways at? We got you. You look like you fresh off golfing, though. Yeah, light 76 today. 76? A little off day. No, I'm cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that gold medal. That makes two, right? That makes two. Ooh. Only a few people that do that. Myself, Rudy Gay, Derek Rose. Yeah. So what you looking for? Let me get those uh, highlight, the clutch pits. Clutch pits highlight? What are you talking about, USA? The red, white, and blue. So you Ooh. got those? I got you, man. What size? 13. 13? I'll be back. Kicking it. Oh, hey, hey. 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 Highlight, size 13. Yo. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Kick in I showed you a lot of love this summer. I mean, anytime you get red, white, and blue, you feel a certain type of way because you represent your country. You got USA across your chest, so this is obviously different than any colorway I wear during the NBA season. Um, so it gives it a little different. You know, style to to my game, so I uh, a lot of pride wearing these, knowing you know what it meant. You always it. write something on the side of your shoes. Tell me about that. Uh, I've been doing it since my freshman year in college at Davidson. My mom texted me before my first practice, like words of encouragement, and uh, a part of that was two verses, you know, scripture verses. Uh, obviously, faith big in, in what I do. The first one's you know, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I kind of condensed it, um, put that on one side, and then Romans 8, 28, that all works to the good of those that love him and have called according to his purpose. And I wrote that on both the sides of my shoes and I wrote my initials on the other side, Wardell, because nobody really knows what that is, but now they do. Kick you talked about your ankle problem. Now you're wearing some ankle braces, black and white. You switch them up from home and away. Tell me about those. Uh, yeah, I had two ankle surgeries, so I needed to find a way to go on the court. So I found this company called Zamps that made this brace that's so comfortable. Really, any shoe that I wear. You got white for home and black for or the road. Cause when you're home team, road team, you wear white or black socks depending on where you are. So funny thing about these shoes is you can't even see them because mm. of how high the. Uh, oh yeah. The shoe is so that's that's almost I like that too because yeah. it makes the shoe look like it's supposed to look and how right. it's designed. So these are what you'll be rocking this year. I wanted to touch on last year. You rocked the spawns most of the season. Shoot, there's so many of them. Uh, I probably wore 15 different types throughout the course of the season. But for my favorite, I got to pick two. Uh, one was the the zones commemorating the 54 in the garden. Ooh. And then the other one was probably my birthday, the cup, I call them the birthday cupcakes. <laughs> I love all white shoes, so that was 
It had like a lime green kind of accent, but like sprinkles in it mm -hmm. on the heel. Those two are probably my favorites. Those are dope. Kick in you said they call them the zones. What is it about the garden that gets you in the zone? You know where you are, you know how the history of the game, it being uh, the mecca of basketball. So you go, everybody gets hyped to play in there. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to psych yourself out knowing as a West Coast team, you only get one shot every year to play there, but you know, you're prepared mentally for a big night just because you know, that's the stage that every basketball player wants to play on in big games like that. Right. When it comes to accessories or just even your kicks, are you more about style or are you more about comfort? If I break down 100%, I would say 70% comfort and 30% style. Oh, okay. And it wouldn't matter. I would, I would sacrifice style for comfort, just knowing, you know, it obviously might look good to have three quarters on. If I'm not feeling well, I would, you know, throw them out just to make sure I felt good on the court. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how I feel. Kick in now you touched on your bands. Tell me about the bands that you wear, because I know that they're pretty special to you. They are. Um, there's a company I invested in my second year in the league called Active Faith. They've kind of established themselves as in their on-court presence with the team colored bands that they, they spread across the league. And you see them not on, on my wrist, but you know, a lot of different players. Anthony Tolliver, Jeremy Lin, Channing Fry. It spreads throughout the, their teammates as well. I see James Harden wearing them every once in a while. Uh, they're a Houston-based brand, but the tagline on every band is uh, in Jesus' name I play, so it's kind of like a tie on you know, why we play a game and having that inspiration. So you look down on your wrist and you get motivated to, one, not take the game for granted, but two, remember you know, why I play the game. Kick in. You do a chest tap after every basket. What's the deal with that? Um, it really is two taps and a point, so it's like a three-part cadence, uh -huh. and it means heart for God. Oh, so wow. that's kind of the meaning behind it. Um, inspiration came from my mom again. It started out in colleges after like the starting line of something, I'd find her in the stands and do it, and she'd do it back. And then it became, you know, uh, I think in the tournament in my sophomore year, I started doing it like every time I made a basket, and it kept going. And now it's even crazy. I saw somebody playing 2K the other day and <laughs> made a shot, and all of a sudden, dude has a close up run down the court and did the move, like did the point thing. Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to see how it's like evolved as like a signature thing. But it really is whether my mom's in the crowd, or my wife. I try to find them and do that as a kind of humbling, you know, practice of kind of just preparing yourself for a game and taking yourself out of it and just playing. So you going with these? Yeah, I'm rock with those. This is right. 13, right? Yeah, 13. All right, cool. All right, let me check you out. All right, bet. What other stuff are you rocking on the golf course? I mean, I rock shorts, khakis, all different colors, different, you know, golf shoes. I wear polos. I even throw a turtleneck in there. Jello Beats, holla at me. Yo. Oh. I'm good, right? Yeah, you good, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate I'll let you, bro. Have a good one, man. Stop by. Yes, sir. Wow. I'm just kicking it. Got my J's on. Money to be made. Let's get the day going. Spending all my time in the bay on them. Feeling myself, make Dre on a man. I'm just kicking in shoes, I be laced up. Got it with the jug, no time for the pay cut. Time to make change, no time for the change up. Money to be made, but the money never made us. No prestige on them, really nothing else to be on them. That's me on them, no prestige on them, really nothing else to be on them. That's me on them, no prestige on them, really nothing else to be on them. That's me, no prestige on them, really nothing else to be on them. Tell me how you feeling now. <laughs> <laughs>